Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's almost afternoon time. I hope you guys have a wonderful lunch as well. Thanks for joining me again. I truly appreciate you guys, all of my subscribers. All right, thanks for joining me. So for the birthday winners for the Leo, once again, I have Rosalind Williams and I have Mystic Leo. So please reach out to me. Um, I don't know if you have, you know I've been having email problems or you can call me directly, all right, or send me a text in regards to being a winner. Miss Rosalind, all right, and Mystic Leo, okay? Mystic Leo, all right? So thank you and give me a shout, guys, so I can get your birthday gifts uh, started. And I'm still selecting three more winners for August. So please give me a shout if it's your birthday here for my Leos. So happy birthday to you guys, okay? So I have some energy for the week, okay? I just want to share some messages for you for some weekly energy, okay? So we're going to start off with Divine is proud of you guys. Your ancestors are proud of you guys. Whatever you guys have been through, you are accomplishing it with a breeze, okay? You're stronger now. You guys could be seeing the sun everywhere, okay? You're being um, like congratulated type of energy here, all right? You're being seen as a trooper, okay, from the divine here. And this is for having courage and bravery in a situation. And there's that sun energy again, all right? Because this is the sun is the happiest card in the whole tarot deck. So you guys are headed towards the sun energy. Okay, and you are angelically protected in a situation. All right, divine is having that shield and that sword to cut out anything that's not servicing you. Okay, so this week, let's find out what's going on. So we got a same sex relationship here. Okay, something could be going on with a same sex relationship. All right, yeah, it could be some jealousy going on at a work, a job type of situation here. All right, and somebody's way of escaping is just smoking a blunt. All right, escaping their headaches, troubles, just smoking a blunt. Okay, and this is somebody's getting their nails done. All right, in all kind of fashionable colors. All right, and somebody could be in the spotlight this week. Okay, what's this energy? Somebody could like Gucci. Okay, you got a nosy neighbor. All right, and somebody told you guys that this neighbor was wretched. You guys got a neighbor that's always starting shit, all right? And this is, my family told me that whoever this was, they're a serial cheater, all right? Somebody finally realized that they are with a serial cheater. They might notice that or find out this week, all right? They might find out this person has someone pregnant or just had a baby, all right? The person that they're with. Okay, and a family could have warned you that this person was a cheater. Okay, somebody also could be having financial problems. Somebody could be filing for bankruptcy here. All right, this week. Okay, yeah, somebody just like to come through. Somebody just always go over people's house and just kick it. These could be one night stands, those secret affairs, but somebody need to watch out who they're sleeping with because someone could have a sexually transmitted disease. All right, there's a feminine energy that goes through and sleep with some of everybody and could have contracted a sexually transmitted disease. Okay, what's this energy, Holy Spirit? And this is um, somebody feel like he lame, but they like y'all together. This could be somebody in your family feel like whoever you're dealing with is lame, but y'all cute together. Okay, yeah, somebody definitely needs to wear protection. Somebody's out here transporting sexually transmitted disease. And this is what I said in the previous video, okay? And this is, yeah, because they like to celebrate, hang out, go out, and party. And don't use a condom here, okay? Yeah, somebody could be fucking strippers, all right? So somebody could have caught a sexually transmitted disease by fucking around with a stripper, all right? Be careful. Somebody might bring a disease home from fucking a stripper with no condom, okay? this week all right holy spirit yeah somebody could be losing weight somebody could be having abdomen problems stomach problems eating problems somebody could be losing weight rapidly somebody could be having bone problems all right yeah 
somebody loves to go out and party, but I feel like somebody don't eat. Somebody just always out partying here, all right? And once again, this is the way that somebody escape, all right? By partying, smoking weed, hanging out, okay? And this is, yes, somebody is in a same-sex relationship, all right? Is something going on with your relationship. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yeah, somebody's finding a peace, and somebody realized that peace is the key, all right? And this is daddy energy here. Somebody is waiting on DNA results to find out if a child is theirs. They might find out this week because someone right here thought that they could just fuck their problems away. All right. And now somebody don't know who the daddy is of their child. Okay. Somebody could be suffering some type of loss this week. A death. Okay. You missed this person. This could have already happened. And you could be really missing this person this week. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's this energy for this week? What's happening here? What's this energy? What could be happening this week, Holy Spirit? All right, so this week here, all right, yeah, there could have been a loss. It could have been gang-related, all right? Somebody in a gang could have gotten killed, all right, or vice versa. It's some type of loss, and it's a gang-related situation. Somebody could have had a male relative that was involved in some type of gang. All right. So I see that somebody's trying to build their empire this week. Somebody is really working hard, coming up with ideals. All right. And this is, uh, you know, they bankrupt, right? So somebody could be trying to act like they want to do business with you, but they literally don't have any money to do business with you. So just watch out. That could be some type of financial scam. All right. Somebody act like they want to do some shit with you, but they can't afford to. All right. And you might end up paying for everything. It's a lot of work gossip going on here. All right. Somebody feel like somebody get special privileges because they fucking the boss. Okay. And here's the energy right here. Yeah. Somebody might be shocked to find out or something on someone's phone. Somebody might get a text, an email, and it might shock you. You might find out something. Somebody might um, text you or email you, all right, from someone's job about some shit that's going on at their job. All right. So those are some entries for this week here, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Black lives matter, okay? But all lives matter to me, okay? And this is, yeah. So somebody just want to be happy in their own skin. Somebody just want peace. There's those beautiful spiritual baths. Make sure that you give me a shout out. I have those, okay? Somebody's child don't feel comfortable when you're not at home with them and your mate is around. Somebody's child don't feel comfortable, okay? The next energy is, yes, these lives do matter. Black lives do matter, all right? I feel like there's some type of racism going on here as well. Somebody's like standing up for black. This could be some racist, uh, some type of riots or some type of, they said bigot energy, okay? And um, I hear a lot of gossiping going on. It's a lot of rumors about something, okay? All right, and he just somebody that I used to know, all right? I hear that he's just somebody that I used to know. All right, so you have moved on with your life, and you might hear about somebody or whatever it is, but at this point, whoever that you walked away from is just somebody that you used to know. All right, that's how you see this person. All right, you might hear that this person has a family or just had a baby. All right. You might hear that they caught up in something else, you know, got themselves tied up to some situation. But this person is just somebody you used to know at this time. Okay? So that could be happening this week. Okay? Yeah, somebody could be in fear also of getting married. Okay? Yeah, it's a baby mama here. But this could be a peaceful baby mama who don't want no fucking drama. You know, just take care of all your goddamn kids, but leave me at peace. Okay? Yeah, and somebody's in fear of getting married, all right? Somebody could already be shacked up with somebody, but it might be time to marry somebody, and they in fear of that, okay? Holy Spirit, what are some more energies for this week, please? All right, some energies for this week, because somebody about that life, 
somebody full of tattoos. They like to be in the streets here. Somebody is about that life. Okay. What's this energy? Yeah, somebody out meeting people, dating. All right. Somebody could already be with somebody, but they still out dating other people. Okay. Yeah. Holding something over your head. Somebody could be getting blackmail here in a situation this week. Okay. Yeah. And somebody feel like it's all your fault. And that's why somebody is getting blackmailed. And whoever getting blackmailed, they could be married. Okay. What's this energy? Yeah. Being too aggressive. Someone is too aggressive. And maybe that's why somebody ran away from a situation here. All right. And Papa was a rolling stone. All right. Wherever he laid his hat was his home for that night. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yeah. Because somebody always hold back on their emotions. They don't know how to express themselves. All right. And here we go, y'all. Fuck your feelings. Fuck your feelings. Okay. That's how somebody feel. Somebody always don't can never tell you how they truly feel. It's time to say fuck your feelings, man. Fuck you. All right. That's what, hey. Yup, look at that. Because they hiding behind a mask. Somebody know they give a fuck, but they try to act like they don't. Alright? It's time to say fuck that motherfucker. Alright? And keep it moving. Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yup. And this person keep on thinking about you. Alright? Why you said fuck this motherfucker. Alright? He wasn't thinking about you when he was out there doing all that fuck shit. Was they? Holy Spirit, what's this energy? What's this energy? You have healed. You have moved on with your life right but you are always in someone's thoughts is what i hear all right you gave this uh person reciprocated feelings you had an equal balance give and take energy with this person and they could be feeling lonely missing that energy they haven't found anyone to replace you or make them feel like you did all right this person could be in love with two people two men two women who knows somebody's in love with two people okay or they either ended up Whoever they left you for was still hooked on two people. All right. Whoever they chose over you, this person had two people in her life, in his life, whatever it was. Okay. And yeah, I want you back now because someone did not choose them. Somebody tired of going back and forth. Somebody tired of going through what they sent you through. Karma is here. Okay. Now they want you back. Okay. Holy Spirit, what are these energies here? Yeah, but somebody's keeping a lot of secrets here. So just be aware of that shit, all right? But this person is grateful that they found you and met you. You could have showed them something positive in their life, okay? This is what you're going to find out this week. What's happening this week? Wow, you might find out somebody is gay for pay, all right? This week, all right? Somebody took a risk. Somebody could be a gambler, all right? Somebody could play dice gamble dice all right and somebody love their popularity all right somebody love people pleasing everybody on their nuts they love it all right and this feels so good but somebody is so cold somebody also could love head all right yeah somebody feel like this is love at first sight all right but now they feel like it's love because somebody giving them some good head all right, yeah, it's time to say goodbye to some type of connection this week that you thought was love at first sight here. All right, somebody is choosing religion over everything. You found your spiritual growth. You choose God, all right, and God taught you to choose you, okay? Holy Spirit, where's this energy? All right, this week, all right, this is not love. Whatever you in right now is not love. It could be some type of domestic violence, domestic abuse here. All right, yeah, it's unrequited um, feelings in a situation. Somebody could be in a polygamy style relationship and somebody over that. Somebody don't love either one of y'all, all right? But this is, hey, it's unrequited love situation. Somebody could be looking for somebody else already, all right? And somebody just wants some benefits. Somebody just want to have fun. They don't want to have a relationship. They just want some friends with benefits type of energy here. And that's what they are looking for, even though they probably are already in a committed relationship. <clears throat> okay, somebody just want to be paid. Somebody all about that dough, okay? All about that money, all right? Yeah, and then they blame it on the alcohol. 
somebody have a drinking problem and they blame it on the alcohol, whatever fuck shit that they do here. All right. Somebody was in some shit together. They could have had plotted something against somebody and they was in it together, but they blamed it on the alcohol here. All right. Somebody is hiding their sexuality. Somebody is really on a down low and you might find out this week. Okay. So somebody got this all figured out or they thought they had something all figured out here, but they didn't. Okay. And it could be this magic. These three witches doing spell work, thinking that they had everything all figured out. Okay. And this is having a cake and eating it too. Cause everything has been working out for them thus far. Okay. It's working out. Somebody is a partier. All right. I also see somebody could possibly overdose. Somebody might take too many pills. Okay. Yes. Somebody's ignoring somebody's calls in Texas. All right. Ignoring them. Won't talk to them. Yeah. And that's why somebody is spying, keeping tabs on somebody through social media. All right. Yeah. Because you are, you're a manifester. So you have three evil witches out here trying to manifest your downfall because they pissed off that somebody ain't giving them all the attention that they desire. Okay, and divine said you saw over this shit. This still made energy to you. You over this fucking X. Okay, and that's some energy that you're gonna find out this week. Okay. Hmm. All right. So Holy Spirit, give me some more messages here. All right. So this is you being your authentic self. You could have worked on your body. All right. Everything about you is authentic. All right. It ain't no um fakeness about you. Everything is real. All right. Holy Spirit, what's this weekly energy? Yeah. And that's why you got major jealousy here. Bitch, please. Somebody mad at you. All right. They mad at you because you're authentic. All right. This could be somebody that's jealous with long blonde hair. All right. Only tell, take what resonates with you. If you ain't a jealous bitch with long blonde hair, you are not resonating with this reading. Okay. Yeah. Somebody all about the money, all about the income. All right, somebody could have received some income here. All right, and this is a snake in the camp. So somebody all about the money could have received money, and that's why they jealous or thinking that you have some or you're receiving some. Okay, what's this energy here? Yeah, and somebody is suspect as hell. All right, so you are already suspicious of this person. You know it's a snake in the camp. You're going to find out this energy this week. All right? This snake in the camp could have had even slept with your partner. Okay? Somebody right here slept with your partner. You are already suspicious of that person. Okay? Yup. And now somebody's saying, I'm out. I'm out. All right? Somebody about to head out after they undid some type of damage. All right? This is somebody who could be jealous of you. Yeah. This person had playtime. All right. I feel like it's some flirtatious energy, even if it's with somebody's spouse. All right. Yeah, this is a wannabe, a copycat, a doppelganger energy. All right. This person just like to fuck with you because they can. All right. I feel like it's a seductive energy here with this person. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is a thirsty ass bitch. All right. And somebody thirsty for that ass. So that's what happened here. All right. Somebody thirsty for that ass. Somebody could be fucking around with somebody's um, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend type of energy. And somebody already suspicious of it. From what I'm looking at, they, they having that ass. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's this energy you might find out this week? Okay. Yeah. It's something about a son. Okay. This could be a young son. This son could be anywhere, you know, up to like three years old. All right, months to three years old, and whoever you got this son with, I mean, or whoever your son is dealing with, is the devil. Your son could be sleeping with an enemy. All right, this is somebody, whoever they're sleeping with, this person could have a son with you. You got a son with somebody that's the devil, okay? And that's what Divine is saying here. Yes, and you think this person is your soulmate. All right. Somebody crying in the background too, reminiscent about a previous connection. Somebody missed somebody else and thinks somebody moved on and dating somebody else. This is five of cups, regret, remorse. All right. Yeah, because they chose to sleep with the devil and they could have had a son with this person or had a baby. 
All right. Yeah. They ghosted this person that they keep thinking about. All right. This is the energy for this week. Somebody ghosted this person that they think about. They're wondering if that person is connecting with someone else. Okay. Holy Spirit, what is this energy? Yes. This is a past life connection that somebody keep thinking about. All right. This is that twin flame bush. I mean, that twin flame stuff. All right. <laughs> Yes, they got feelings for this energy right here, but this person could have deleted this person <coughs> out of their life. <coughs> Somebody don't want me talking about that, do they? All right. You guys could have deleted this person out of your damn life. Okay. Somebody crying over this person. All right. Or this the person is deleting people out of their life. Okay, somebody is thinking about this past life connection really heavy here. Okay, somebody just want to hug you. All right. So Holy Spirit, what are these messages for this week? Yeah, but somebody right here, your twin flame, your past life connection, they stuck with somebody that's shady. All right, is what divine is saying. They stuck with somebody that's shady, somebody they could have some kids with, somebody arguing with and fighting with all the time. It could be a biracial couple, okay? And they stuck with this couple, and you might find out this this week, all right? This person stays here because family matter. They're concerned about their kids, all right? Somebody even could have twins with somebody, okay? Holy Spirit, what are these energies here? Yep, they stuck in the mud. All right, because they have kids with somebody. They stuck there. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's what they made for themselves, Holy Spirit. All right, so I'm going to pull these cards right here. What's these energies? All right, they stuck with somebody who's plotting. All right, somebody is plotting something against whoever they're with here. Yes, and it's a tower moment headed. Somebody's way here in this connection here. All right. And also, somebody is about to lose their job. Somebody's about to get fired or somebody already got fired. All right. I feel like it's some sexual harassment. I feel like something has to do with sex on the job. Okay. Yeah. It's somebody's daughter that might get fired here. Okay. Yeah. And this person is a single mommy. All right. So somebody might have to move back home with their mommy. Okay, whose energy is this? Someone wants to reach out to you. They keep thinking about you real heavy. All right. Mm -hmm. You in somebody's heart space. All right. They think about you all the time here. All right. But they hide in these feelings that they feel for you. They hide in these. All right. This is some energy this week here. Y'all got a secret admirer. Okay. Somebody just moved into a new place this week here. All right, you moved in with somebody, okay? You moved in with a new relationship type of energy here, or y'all just moving into a new place, all right? Um, somebody could have relocated and moved into a new place, all right? And this is maybe you did, you know, the authentic one, all right? You being authentic. You could have met somebody new, you know, when you moved into a new place, okay? So that vine said, okay, yeah. So you could have walked away from a third party situation or somebody is in a third party situation. All right. And this is so tacky because somebody could be married, about to get married, dressed up for their marriage, and a person is still checking out other people. All right. This is a husband who is so flirtatious. It's utterly ridiculous. All right. Then look at this. Look at that. She all in her dress and everything. He's still looking at her. The other girl. and But you're going to still marry that motherfucker, I bet. All right. Divine said, just take a breather here. All right. Somebody even questioning the person they're about to marry. All right. And this is, they like, this is chess, not checkers. Divine saying this shit is only too obvious about what this motherfucker is about. It's only too obvious. That's what Divine is saying here. Look at this. This, this person is in fear of getting married. Somebody definitely getting married here. They in fear, all right, that they might have to stop horn around, stop fucking everybody in the streets, all right? Yeah, yeah. Also, they could be in fear, too, because somebody is a transsexual, okay? I keep getting this energy, and it keep popping out, all right? This is Billy, all right? Billy could be a boy up under this, okay? 
Billy could be a boy up under the makeup and the hair. Okay? So just be aware of that. All right? This person thinks they're the greatest of all times, too. Okay? Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay? They think they're the greatest of all times. This could be a transgender energy. Okay? That think they're the greatest. Okay? So also, right here, this transgender energy, or Billy, could be sending you the evil eye. All right? Somebody wear a lot of makeup. Okay? And I keep saying this because look at their face all patched up and all pretty and everything. Okay? Yeah, somebody wear a lot of makeup here, but that person could be sending you the evil eye. Okay? You could be praying. All right? Your hair could look like this. All right? And you could be praying for better days. Praying to come out of situations where people sending you hate and evil eyes. Praying to overcome this gang stalking, all this hacking. You could be praying here, okay? And this is some of my energy. I resonate with some of this right here, okay? Just praying for better days. You know, you don't send back hate. You know, you just pray for them. Pray for your haters, okay? That they grow up and turn their faith over to a di different option than hate, Okay, so I'm just praying for better days. I don't hate anybody. I love everybody. But you know what? You just um, limit and you trust and you guide yourself as who you allow in your life. All right? You can love everybody from fucking difference, a distance. Okay? Fucking Hawaii. All right? That don't mean that you always have to talk to them and kick it with them. You just pray for your haters almost type of energy here. Okay? So this is praying, okay? And this is a road trip. Somebody's about to take a road trip. This could be two friends. Y'all taking the kids and everything like that, okay? And somebody want more than just lust. Somebody all about just lust. Somebody just pop up just to fuck all the time, all right? So whoever this is going on a road trip, be careful that your man ain't at home fucking somebody else in your place, okay? Somebody's all about just drop getting them panties off and just trying to get what they can get. Okay? Be careful whoever go on this road trip. I'm telling you, I feel like somebody might have somebody at your house. Alright? Somebody feel like it's cuffing season. Alright? Coming up here. Somebody out here meeting people that they can live with for this for this winter, the season, whatever it is, cuffing season, whatever that shit is. Okay? Somebody just out meeting people to lay up with. Okay? Yes, and also the same sex is here. So somebody could be laying up with someone who is the same sex. All right? So just be aware of this energy. All right? Somebody could be cuffing someone of the same sex. This could be some type of secret. I feel like this is a secret. Somebody don't want nobody to know. Okay? Look at this. This person, this is a secret. Somebody also could be getting catfished. All right, this could be a transgender energy that's dressed all up like a beautiful woman. But this person is a fraud. All right, so y'all better be careful about who y'all cuffing and laying up with. All right, if y'all not into this type of energy, to each his own. All right, but somebody is a fraud here, and you might find out this week. Okay? You might find out a lot this week, okay? So let's go into the domestic energy for this week here. All right, I love giving y'all energy. Somebody needs to go buy home supplies. All right, somebody's out of that toilet paper. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the domestic energy for this week? All right, getting your kids' clothes and accessories together to get them ready for school, making sure they tidy, tidying up their, their rooms, the house. All right, donating things that don't serve you no more, getting rid of all the old stuff, the old school clothes, old summer clothes, just donating stuff. All right, and this is teaching your kids some type of spirituality. You guys could be going to church, all right? And also, somebody could be doing candle magic on your kids in your home, okay? Yeah, this is caregiving, grooming your kids, getting those haircuts, getting their hair done, all right? Holy Spirit, what's this energy? Cutting your grass, dealing with your lawn and your plants and everything like that for this week, okay? And just your pets, taking care of your pets, making sure they got dog food, they getting cleaned and washed and groomers and shots. Yeah, going grocery shopping this week here, making sure you load that refrigerator up. All right, some of you guys could be uh, renovating your home, getting new furniture. All right, redecorating. 
all right just decorating in general all right make sure you use all your coupons your gift cards make sure you get your mileage points for whoever got those type of credit cards all right and somebody's bringing home a new baby congratulations all right bringing a new baby to the house here somebody could have just bought a crib or put up a crib for a new baby this week here all right so make sure you get your kids homework projects school supplies and everything together here all right make sure you listen read those lists okay and this is a morning routine it's time to get your kids already back on morning routine as school is starting this month okay so get your kids back on the routine and watch out for first aid somebody might hurt themselves this week might need a band-aid some first aid somebody might have to go to the emergency room so just be careful all right but they will be allowed to go home okay and this is playing tic-tac-toe just playing with your kids talking to them about school spending time with them and trying to get them back on that schedule okay i dropped a card right here so let me find it uh oh, I don't see it, guys. It probably flew someplace. I'll let you guys know what it was in the next reading. Okay. <laughs> but this is just grounding your kids and getting them ready for school. Okay. Yep. And just making sure, you know, they weekend meals. Don't let them get too many burgers, too many Mickey D's. All right. You can cook some things from home. So let your kids see you cooking from home so they can start developing these skills. All right. Summer break is over for your kids. Okay. So it's time to start preparing them for a new school year. And like I said, those holiday gift cards. Somebody could already be buying holiday gift cards, Christmas stuff. All right. So. Let me see anything else we miss here. We got the High Priestess energy this week. Make sure that you use your intuition in a situation. All right. Use your intuition in a situation here. All right. Use your intuition this week in a situation is what Divine is saying. Please give us the message for this week, Holy Spirit, with the tarot. All right. Yeah, because it's some devil energy. It don't have to be. But it's something going on with a Capricorn, Holy Spirit. Maybe we need to use our intuition in regards to a Capricorn. All right. It's something going on here with an Ace of Pentacles. All right. So if a Capricorn is about to receive money, got something to do with some money, look at that. Did I not say the fucking devil energy? All right. So just be careful here because this Capricorn is up to no good. All right, they do carry this devil energy and it is right behind them. Okay, they could be up to no good in regards to some pinnacles, some finances here. All right, this Capricorn. Okay, they carry a heavy devil energy. They start in conflict here and it got a lot to do with Ace of Pentacles. Holy Spirit, please clarify this energy. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for this Capricorn? Because they got something new. All right. They want to take a leap of faith with some type of money they received. All right. This could be a new job, a new house. But I feel like this big pinnacle, it makes me feel like, feel like strictly money. All right. Holy Spirit, clarify the devil here for this Capricorn. Why is this Capricorn showing up in devil-ass energy? All right. Because of love. This person could be claiming to love someone, but they don't. Somebody could be in a situation due to finances. Okay. They could be with somebody who's loving, who have a loving heart. This a lotus flower energy, all right? This devil is acting like they of the light, but they really of the dark, all right? They carry some moon-ass energy here. And look at even a fucking t-shirt. Got devil-ass energy on it, okay? Even a t-shirt, all right? This could be a blonde-haired female. It don't have to be, all right? Yeah, this person could be an Aquarius. This person could be dealing with an Aquarius on some type of money. All right. And somebody moved away from a situation. All right. So somebody could have moved away from a situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aquarius possibly moved away from a devil that was all about finances. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody could have been trying to team them up and run a scam, a financial scam on somebody here or oh, they did this 
Yes. All right. Yeah, this person became very defensive. Somebody didn't want to participate. Somebody know that they didn't did a whole lot of shit to somebody here. All right. Somebody know they have. All right. The devil is here. Somebody is working with this devil. All right. Yes. Look at this on somebody's will of fortune. And divine said it ain't going to work. This fortune is protected. These two angels right here is by this gate. This will of fortune. And as you see, this is the number 10. So this is over here. And that's why this Ace of Pentacles is here. Because somebody dealing with a devil. All right. Who's all about this Ace of Pentacles and a will of fortune. All right. Somebody's being called to move away from a situation here. All right. This could be about a marriage. Somebody could be married to somebody who a devil. All right. Somebody could think this person is their soul tie. And this could be an open marriage. I see multiple people here. Okay. Yes. And it's the king of swords. Maybe somebody got a divorce. All right. Maybe somebody is consulting an attorney. It's a court date. Judge is here this week. All right. This is some action that's taking place this week here. Yes. And somebody's going to come out with a victory. Somebody's planning on having a victory. Somebody could be star glazing. All right. I get, uh, you know, like the Eiffel Tower, not the Eiffel Tower, but that New York energy. With this right here, something could be taking place in New York. It could be a legal process, and it's going to be a victory here. All right. So that's what I have for you guys for this reading right here for this week. Look at that. And somebody else is going to be heartbroken. Three of Swords. Somebody could be suffering a heartbreak. Somebody could have got stabbed in the heart. Somebody could have had a heart attack. All right. Ugh. I don't know why I feel like three people is involved in a situation. Okay. So this is what I have for you guys. All right. I feel like somebody might bail out of a wedding. All right. If you want your own personal reading, please give me a shout at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Appreciate and love you guys. Enjoy your week. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.